What's up wizards, the TypeScript 5.1 beta is out. My neighbors are like building something in their back garden, so apologies for the noise, but I have to get this out right now. There are two main things that come from this release. The first one is undefined returning functions. Functions that don't return anything in JavaScript just return undefined, but in TypeScript, they're sort of inferred as void. So this one here, for instance, this function that's just returning absolutely nothing is inferred as a function with no parameters that just returns void. But what if the type of the function that you're passing in or the type that's expected actually returns undefined? Well, this currently in TypeScript 5.0 will be an error. There are a bunch of these different cases here and this actually makes it kind of less usable than you expect but now in TypeScript 5.1 it would just be absolutely fine so TypeScript has now got its ideas or got the right idea into its head that functions that return nothing actually like return undefined I think it will still infer it as void but it will just loosen up that little bit of tightness and restriction that it previously placed on it this is the big headline item Decouple type checking between JS elements and JSX tag types. Okay, what does that mean? Well, they unblocked React server components. React server components broke some of the assumptions that TypeScript had previously made about components in React. You would previously have thought that components could basically only be a function that is a sync function, not like that returns a promise or anything, that just returns some JSX or perhaps null but React server components can use async functions. So foo, it's basically like here, if you have, oh God, they've, the syntax highlighting in dark mode is awful, but they've got async function foo returns div, and it basically says foo cannot be used as a JSX component. It re its return type promise element is not a valid JSX element. But now TypeScript has gotten smarter so that you can actually specify the types that are allowed as an element type. Inside this global JSX namespace, you can specify element type and add all of the different ones to a union. So this one, key of intrinsic attributes, this is like div, span, a, whatever. We've got function components, We've your class components and now when you ship like react server components or you adopt them you can basically react types can like specify that promises are allowed so this means that react or typescript 5.1 is an absolute must upgrade for anyone using react i've been testing it on total typescript and it seems to be absolutely fine you should be trying it out by like installing the beta here and telling them if you run into any issues otherwise you should check out this next video that i've got here which is another little tiny tip on all the cool things happening in the typescript ecosystem i've been matt you should check out my typescript course on totaltypescript.com and i will see you very soon.